Good morning, dear students. Students, in our last video, we have started with our lesson number 13, Carbon and Important Element from Science Part 1. And we have studied the occurrence of carbon and allotropes of carbon. In today's video, we shall be learning about organic and inorganic compounds and hydrocarbons. So children, let's begin. First, let's see organic compounds. Compounds directly or indirectly obtained from plants and animals were regarded as organic compounds. Inorganic compounds Minerals and compounds obtained from organic compounds were termed as inorganic compounds. Wohler, a German chemist, synthesized the compound urea from an inorganic compound ammonium cyanate. Since then, several organic compounds were prepared from different inorganic materials. All these compounds were found to contain carbon as the main element in them. Organic chemistry is also known as the chemistry of carbon compounds. Let's see hydrocarbons, the fundamental organic compounds. All organic compounds contains hydrogen along with carbon. They are the fundamental organic compounds also known as parent compounds. So children, these compounds are known as Hydrocarbons. Some organic compounds also contains oxygen, halogen and also they contain nitrogen and sulfur. Methane. It is also an organic compound with molecular formula CH4. In this compound, carbon is bonded to four hydrogen atom and the electronic configuration of carbon is two comma four and electronic configuration of hydrogen is one. Carbon has four electrons in its outermost orbit and hence it is tetravalent. If carbon gets four electrons in the second orbit, its outermost orbit will be completely filled and will make it stable to attain the nearest inner gas configuration neon whose atomic number is 10. Carbon gets 4 electrons by sharing 1 electron each with 
hydrogen atom. In the process, four CH bonds are formed. Bonds formed by sharing of electrons are known as covalent bond. A single covalent bond is formed by sharing of two electrons. The structure of methane is given here. In the structure, you can observe carbon atom is centrally placed. If the electrons of carbon are shown by X and the electrons of hydrogen by a dot, then the structure of methane will look like this. The above structure is known as the electron dot and cross structure. Now let's see some properties of organic compounds containing covalent bonds. First one. Covalent compounds have low melting point and boiling points. Second, compounds containing covalent bonds are generally insoluble in water but are soluble in other organic solvents. Third one, they are Poor conductors of heat and electricity. Got it children? Now covalent compounds are also seen in the formation of oxygen molecule. Here oxygen has the atomic number 8. So, six electrons are present in its outermost shell. It requires two more electrons to complete its octet. Each oxygen atom shares its valence electron with the valence electron of another oxygen atom to give two shared pairs of electrons which results in the formation of O2 molecule. If two electron pairs are shared between two atoms then a double covalent bond is formed. So now we will see an experiment that carbon dioxide is given out during respiration. So let's see. Respiration in animals or human beings. So the material required are Freshly prepared lime water in a test tube. Cork with two holes. Glass tubing bent at 90 degree. Let's see the procedure. Take half filled test tube with freshly prepared clear lime water. Fix the cork in the mouth of the test tube.
fix the glass tubing A and B in the cork such that the end of the glass tubing A is dipping in lime water. Now put your mouth at the end of tube A and exhale out air with full force. Pass exhaled air vigorously for at least one minute. You will observe that as the exhaled air bubbles pass through lime water, it gradually turns lime water milky. You can see here on your screen. So the conclusion is, as the clear lime water turns milky, only with carbon dioxide. Therefore, we can say that carbon dioxide is present in the exhaled air and is produced by the process of respiration. Understood children? This experiment, how we have proved carbon dioxide is present in exhaled air? Good. Now let's study carbon dioxide. Plants sustain their life by making use of carbon dioxide and thus indirectly help other living organisms. Isn't it children? Yes. Carbon dioxide was first prepared by Van Helmont. Joseph Black identified carbon dioxide as a constituent of carbonates. Antoine Lavoisier discovered that when carbon was burned in air, carbon dioxide was produced. The occurrence of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is present in the air to the extent of about 0.03% by volume. Did you know this? Okay, it accumulates in caves, mines and dry wells near lime cleans due to high density. It is evolved from volcanoes. For example, Valley of Death in Java is strewn with skeletons of human beings, animals and birds who died there because of oxygen starvation. It is a product of combustion, respiration and fermentation reaction. Understood children? Okay children, now let us see the laboratory preparation of carbon dioxide. The apparatus required are Wolf's bottle, Thistle funnel, Delivery tube, Gas jar, Chemicals required are Calcium carbonate CaCO3 Hydrochloric acid HCl The principle 
Let's see the principle of this experiment. When calcium carbonate is treated with hydrochloric acid, an evolution of carbon dioxide takes place. The gas may be collected by the upward displacement of air since it is heavier than air. So let's see the reaction. CaCO3 plus 2HCl will give us CaCl2 plus H2O plus CO2. Okay children? Let's see the procedure now. Add CaCO3 that is calcium carbonate in the wolf's bottle. Assemble the apparatus as shown in the figure that is the delivery tube should be attached to the wolf's bottle and the gas jar and also a thistle funnel is attached to wolf's bottle. So this is the arrangement we need to do with the apparatus. Then slowly add dilute HCl that is hydrochloric acid in the flask through the still funnel. See to it that the end of the funnel dips in the acid. Now CO2 that is carbon dioxide is formed as a result of the reaction between calcium carbonate and HCl. The principle of preparation of carbon dioxide gas is used to identify whether a stone is calcium carbonate. Now we can collect this gas in the gas jar. So what is happening is carbon dioxide can be prepared by the following methods also. By burning carbon in the air or in the presence of oxygen we can get carbon dioxide. So the reaction is C plus O. O2 in the presence of heat we get CO2 while burning methane, ethane, butane and so on carbon dioxide is released. Let's see the reaction CH4 that is methane plus 2O2 will give you CO2 plus 2H2O. Are you getting me children? Okay. Now 2C2H6 that is ethane plus 7O2. will give you 4CO2 plus 6H2O. Okay children, let's see the uses of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide that is CO2 is used to make aerated drinks. For example, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Thumbs Up, Fanta, 
so these all are aerated drinks which contains carbon dioxide that is co2 carbon dioxide obtained by chemical reaction or kept under pressure is used in fire extinguisher solid carbon dioxide is used in cold storage it is also used for getting special effects of mist in dramas and in movies also liquefied carbon dioxide is used to remove caffeine from coffee this process is called as decaffeination carbon dioxide decaffeination liquid co2 is used as a solvent in modern eco friendly dry cleaning so this is also one of the use of liquid carbon dioxide which is used as a solvent in eco friendly dry cleaning and the important one plants use carbon dioxide in air for photosynthesis okay children so this is what we have learned in today's video so quickly let's take a revise or let's have a look at the summary organic and inorganic compounds organic based on c that is carbon and inorganic are not based on carbon organic compounds are non electrolyte whereas inorganic compounds are electrolytes organic compounds have covalent bonding inorganic compounds have ionic bonding organic compounds have low boiling and melting point but organic inorganic compounds have high boiling and melting point organic compounds are soluble in non polar solvents and inorganic compounds are soluble in polar solvents that is water organic compounds are complex structure and inorganics have simple structure in or organic compounds are millions of compounds and inorganic they are thousands of compound so this was a difference between organic versus inorganic understood children the next we uh, we will study some properties of organic compounds containing covalent bonds first covalent compounds have low melting and boiling points compounds containing covalent bonds are generally insoluble in water but are soluble in other organic solvents they are poor conductor of heat and electricity understood children okay so children with this we have come to an end of today's session i hope children you all have understood today's topic children kindly watch the video attentively and then after read the lesson for better understanding once again thank you children for listening to me take care of your self children and your family thank you